Hi guys, welcome to this part two DA the application tips video. I made this video recording back in January time. I only had time to do the editing recently after I graduate, so I hope it's useful. If you want to know more about my specific experience in Germany, such as the transportation, weather, traveling, what I learned during my time, go to part one. So I remember deadline um, was at the end of the year, December time. I think I submitted in November because I always submit earlier. DAAD would then send your application to project supervisor that you apply for and they will go through it and they have to submit their rankings by the end of January, I believe. So I submitted my application with um, documents that they require and including other sort of personal statement thing. And in January time, right after my university exam, I had a sort of uh, interview call uh, with actually two of the projects that I applied for. I applied for three projects, and I think that's the maximum number of projects that you can apply for. So you can go to their pro tour and look at a list of projects in different institutions uh, and different parts of Germany. Um, so I, I applied for three of them, so I, I wanted to maximize my chances, I guess. And then in January time, I uh, received email from two of the supervisors, and then I scheduled calls. Um, with them online and then they will submit the final ranking to the AAD again um, by the January deadline and then the AAD will, uh, will sort things out and inform you uh, if you get accepted or not. So for tips for the application I wanted to say that it's true that grades are not everything because I remember there was um, this uh, online webinar thing organized by DAAD for a student to ask questions and then a lot of them ask about grades mm -hmm. and then they kept saying that oh it's not just about grades, it's not just about grades. So yeah, so I was told later on in the inter during my internship that my grade was like not like the top, the highest. However, my statement, like application statement or personal statement, I made it one page only and I try to be concise and just deliver the key meanings. And if you put three or four pages, most likely that they won't read it all, you know. So I was trying to think how when am I going to construct this statement and then actually when I was reading the project brief provided on the portal, I was thinking I can produce something similar to that. I figured that a lot of those project briefs, they you know have the introduction of course and then I noticed that uh, quite a few of them also have images like about a project. For example, my view is like um, it is uh, biology and medical sciences and neurosciences. For well, some of them, they have an image of neuron in a microscope, for example. And that actually inspired me. I actually put one of the images from my previous study in the statement when I talk about the project that I worked on. So later, supervisor told me that I was the only person in all those applications that um, with an image attached and you know when people are tired always like visual it's, it's better to catch attention I guess so that helped a lot so you be concise uh, one page two page maybe and then put an image if you have or if it's relevant 